The military detachment in Tumu, in the Sisala East municipality, has arrested a 28-year-old man posing as a soldier. The alleged fake military man, Ahmed Tajani Ababakari, was handed to the police for interrogation. He was nabbed on Thursday, June 6, 2019 in full military attire when he visited the military detachment in Tumu. He claimed he passed out in March 2019 and had in his possession an amount of over GH 2000.00. Related slideshow, Most Amazing Prison Escapes, provided by Photo Services. A dozen inmates escaped from Walker County Jail in Jasper, Alabama, U.S. on July 30, 2017, using peanut butter to alter the number over the exit. They then persuaded an inexperienced guard in the control room to open a door he thought was the entrance to a cell, inadvertently letting the criminals out. Eleven of the escapees were captured soon, Brady Kilpatrick, pictured. Was last to be arrested with the help of law enforcement and the FBI on August 2 in Florida. The convicts are serving terms for burglary, theft, drug charges, domestic violence and Others, and now additional charges will be pressed as the result of the breakout. One of the three fugitive inmates from the Orange County Jail in Santa Ana, California, was apprehended on January 29, 2016, after escaping from the jail a week before. The men cut a hole in a metal grate and escaped through the roof of the jail. The two remaining fugitives, Jonathan Tiu and Hossein Nayeri, were arrested 400 miles 643 kilometers north in San Francisco a day later. Anjan, 30, pictured an Orange County Sheriff's Department SWAT team raids a law office in Westminster, California, on January 28, 2016, as they search for three inmates who escaped from the county's Central Men's Jail in Santa Ana. The Mexican drug kingpin went absconding from a maximum security prison in Mexico in July of 2015 where he had been imprisoned since February 2014. Popularly known as El Chapo, or Shorty, he was last seen in the shower area of the Altiplano jail on July 11. He was eventually arrested in January 2016 from his hideout after a fierce gun battle with the Mexican. Marines. Previously, the drug lord had escaped from a high-security Mexican prison in 2001 by hiding in a laundry basket. Pictured, Guzman is escorted to a helicopter following his capture from the beach resort town of Mazatlan on February 22, 2014. On June 6, 2015, convicted killers David Sweat L. and Richard Matt were discovered to be missing from their cells at the Clinton Correctional Facility, Bottom, in Danamora, New York, U.S. The pair used power tools, possibly stolen from civilian contractors working in the prison, to cut through the rear steel walls of their adjoining cells, then followed a series of tunnels inside the prison. They then cut their way into an access pipe and followed it to a manhole outside the prison walls. It was the first escape from the maximum security prison in its 170-year history. Three weeks after their escape, Matt was found and killed by officers in a wooded area in Malone, New York. Sweat was shot by a state trooper near the town of Constable, New York, on June. 28, 2015, and is in custody. According to CBC News, Benjamin Houghton Barbeau and Danny Provencal escaped in March 2013 from St. Jerome Prison near Montreal, Canada, by climbing a rope attached to a helicopter that had been hijacked by their accomplices. Their elaborate planning got them out of the prison compound, but they were captured within hours. According to CNN, murder suspects Cortez Hooper, L. 23, and Quincy Stewart, 35, escaped an Arkansas jail on May 29, 2012, by using a hacksaw blade to saw through metal bars covering a window. They were recaptured on June 1, 2012. The high-security Korydalos prison in Athens was the scene for this dramatic escape, as career thief Paleo Coast is an accomplice Rizai climbed a rope ladder suspended from a helicopter in February 2009. Paleo Coast is, amazingly, had pulled exactly the same trick from exactly the same prison, three years earlier.
while Rizai was recaptured seven months later, Paleocostus is still at large. His initial sentence was 30 years for the 1997 murder of a security guard during a robbery. In 2001, Payette escaped from a prison in Louins, southern France, in a hijacked helicopter, but was recaptured in 2003. Despite being one of France's most high-profile prisoners constantly moved from prison to prison to make escape more difficult, he pulled the same feat by escaping from a prison in Grasse, on the French Riviera, in a helicopter hijacked by his accomplices. He was recaptured three months later, in September 2007. According to New York Post, convicts Jose Espinoz L. and Otis Blunt were able to scrape through the mortar holding the cinder blocks in their cells at Union County Jail and escape to the outside in December 2007. The two were recaptured within a month. With the help of a can opener, convict Phillips tore open the ceiling of his cell at Erie County Correctional Facility in New York and fled the building in September 2006. He was recaptured. Five months later, the infamous Texas 7 escaped from the John B. Connolly Unit, a maximum security prison in Kennedy, Texas, on December 13, 2000, by overpowering civilian maintenance staff in prison guards, and stealing clothing in a pickup truck. Once free, they robbed two stores and killed a Texas police officer before they were caught in January of 2001. Larry James Harper Chizetto shoot himself rather than be recaptured. In November of 1998, death row inmate Guru escaped from the Ellis Unit Prison in Huntsville, Texas by climbing two fences. He was later found dead, and prison officers reported he drowned in a creek on the same day he escaped. Pictured tracking dogs near the Ellis One prison unit during a search operation for Guru near Huntsville, Texas. Convict Jeffrey McCoy made a rope from sheets and descended down a wall for nine stories to escape from the Manhattan Correctional Center in New York in 1983. He kept a low profile after his escape but was recaptured in Poughkeepsie, NY, six years later. Prisoners Paul Brennan, Terry Kirby and Jimmy Smith along with several others escaped from H Block 7, H7, of the Maze Prison, pictured, near Belfast in Northern Ireland in September 1983. In, the largest prison break in British history, sometimes called the Great Escape, a total of 38 provisional IRA members used guns smuggled into the prison to overpower guards, shooting to oin. The process. One guard died of a heart attack as a result of the outbreak. Fifteen prisoners were recaptured the same day, including three who were found hiding underwater in a nearby river, using reeds to breathe. The three pictured above were arrested in the United States in the early 90s and eventually extradited to the UK after lengthy legal battles. Murder convict Chess Amart, also known as Asada Shakur, was a member of the former Black Panther Party who broke out of the Clinton Correctional Facility in Clinton, New Jersey, U.S. In 1979, she escaped with help from members of the Black Liberation Army, who took guards hostage and stole a prison van. According to the FBI, Chess Amart fled to Cuba and currently holds political asylum in the communist country. She became the first woman to be featured on the FBI's most wanted terrorist list. Billy Hayes, 28, an American student sentenced for smuggling drugs, escaped from a prison in Imrali, Turkey, in 1975 by stealing a rowboat. After making his way to Istanbul and then to Greece, he was eventually deported to America. He chronicled his escape in a book called Midnight Express, which was adapted into a 1978 movie of the same name starring Brad Davis as Hayes. Pictured, Hayes shows new passport issued him by the American Embassy in Athens, Greece. Three convicts broke out of Alcatraz, an island prison near San Francisco known as The Rock, in June of 1962. Frank Lee Morris, C., Clarence Anglin, R., and John Anglin attempted to flee on a makeshift raft. They are officially listed as missing, presumed drowned. The episode was immortalized in the film Escape from Alcatraz, starring Clint Eastwood. 
In March of 1944, 76 men fled from Stalag Luft III, a German-run POW camp, through three secret tunnels called Tom, Dick and Harry. Out of all the escapees, only three evaded capture. A composite picture shows top, the entrance to the 300-foot-long tunnel, Harry, and bottom, a trolley, in the same tunnel. The infamous getaway was immortalized in the 1963 film, The Great Escape, starring Steve McQueen and Richard Attenborough. Held in the notorious Gustavo prison of Fort Montluc and German-occupied Lions, Lt. André Devaney used a sharpened spoon to lift up the wooden slats in the floor of his cell and escaped into the courtyard, where he scaled the prison's outer wall. His escape was chronicled in the 1956 movie, Man Escaped by director Robert Bresson. Devaney, a former schoolteacher, went on. Tojo in a North African commando unit and died in 1999. Notorious criminal John Dillinger, L., escaped from Indiana's Crown Point County Jail after bluffing the guards with a fake gun and stealing a sheriff's car in March of 1934. Months later, he was shot outside a movie theater by federal agents. In February of 1864, 109 prisoners escaped from Libby Prison in Virginia, U.S. The inmates dug a tunnel through which they crawled out of the jail. Of the total, 48 were recaptured, two drowned in a nearby river and the rest escaped to freedom. He was accused of dressing in military shorts and portraying himself wrongly after trying to greet the military officers on duty. According to a military source, Tajani also failed to identify his station and unit, as well as not being able to mention his service number and name of his commanding officer. This heightened the suspicion of the officers on duty, who quickly arrested him and subsequently handed him over to the Tumu Municipal Police. The military expressed worry about such imposters who could easily defraud unsuspecting people with the uniform and advised the public to report such suspicious characters to the appropriate authorities. Chief Inspector Jeffrey H. O. R., the Tumu police station officer, said the young man in question normally visits the area and holds himself as a military officer until his arrest. A search conducted in his room revealed a military bag with a set of camouflage military uniform, a jacket, two pair of boots and a Ghanaian passport bearing his name and photo. Pictures on his mobile phone also showed Tajani dressed in a military uniform whilst others depicted him holding an assault rifle gun. Chief Inspector H.O.R. said provisional charges of impersonation and possession of military accoutrement without authority was being preferred against him whilst investigation continuous. The presence of the military detachment in Tumu in the Sisala East and West is in response to the presence of Burkinabe immigrants and suspected terrorist threats from Burkina Faso. The troops are patrolling the borders from Hamel through Fielmuo to Gualu, Kupali Medikasana, Banu and Pito, in an attempt to protect the citizenry against harm.